What's up guys, I've got a rush on Erica Harbor, we are defending, and I'm using what I always use. And I, you know what, I'm really not sick of looking at it. I mean, and of course what I'm referring to is the sniper rifle, as seen here, the AN-94 Abacon. I don't know how I snipe with this thing, but it is a ridiculous assault rifle that I love very much, especially when you shoot large tanks of propane and they explode and you kill that guy. Awesome. I am very, very close to a Platinum Star, though. I think I have 940 kills. Not that that matters at all, but I have been staring at this rifle for so long, and I snipe people. Oh, my God. That is that is a snipe. That's a snipe. And I think it's just as ridiculous as any other assault rifle out there. I mean, the XM8 is a little bonkers. I've used it, and I don't like using it because it's very easy to use but and some people might communicate that the and uh, 94 Avicon is overpowered but come on guys close range I get raped not gonna lie I get raped oftentimes unless the unless I get the jump on the guy or the guy is just oblivious when it comes to close quarters combat um, and that is the reason why I use the 40 millimeter shotgun and I get some outrageous kills with it, uh, that attachment during this game. And uh, one coming up here pretty soon, so uh, stay tuned. God, I feel like some kind of. Like I'm on some kind of TV show where I'm trying to keep you hooked here. Just stay tuned. Uh, I don't feel appropriate saying that, but I get some very, very goofy and outrageous kills with the 40mm shotgun nonetheless. And uh, actually, on the first one, I think I even. I might even include, uh, that guy tries to be stealthy, nice try, but you're going to get a bullet in the ass if you actually try to be stealthy. And, I don't even know what that, okay, here it is. Okay, so I see him run to the corner, and my teammate really screws up at shooting him here, so I just drag in and just, in the face, oh, in the face, oh. Gotta love that blood splatter, man, you gotta love that blood splatter, I mean, Nothing brings some sunshine into my day like blasting some guy's face off with an attachment that might be slightly overpowered. But I don't mean to be, bick be bickering about different attachments about guns and flurry in the face yet again with the Abacon here. And recently, I really don't want to go over some kind of formal update about the patch that uh, occurred recently. But... There have been some minor and major adjustments by DICE with uh, some attachments and some weapons and some gadgets that have really changed the way that we play this game. It's not too radical, but uh, there are some changes that are definitely noticeable. Number one that I want to point out, actually there's three major ones. Okay, let's start off. M60 got nerfed. I'm not exactly even sure how they nerfed it, but... I heard from one guy that it was something about damage, like some other website and some other some other method like Twitter told me it was something about the rate of fire, but whatever the case may be, it's not as good as it used to be. And the other one that I definitely want to touch on is the Tracer Dart. Now I've been playing Engineer on and off, I really don't like the Engineer class, but when I'm using the Tracer Dart, I can easily hit helicopters now. In the past, I could not hit them ever. It was very, very rare that I would ever hit a helicopter with a tracer dart, but now I can do it quite easily. So however that changes your gameplay on certain levels, such as Isla Inocentes and Valparaiso, be it as it may. And um, basically, we get kicked back to this second base, and uh, we do eventually hold them here. Yeah, I, I hate to spoil your day and tell you, now this is going to end, but that's how it ends. We hold them here, and uh, I am using the method that I always use, as you guys probably know, which is aggressively conservative tactical camping. I need to come up with like an acronym for that. It sounds a lot better than saying it out loud. But uh, I've got some more outrageous kills. Okay, so, and by outrageous, of course I'm describing the 40 millimeter shotgun. I mean, what else am I referring to? So I run around the corner and I take my sweet ass time when I'm just lining up. This boom! Right in the ass. But I don't, I don't know how I got a headshot. I have no idea how that was a headshot. They gave me the extra 10 points. And hey, 
I'm going to take the extra 10 points if you're going to give them to me, but... And I do... Sorry about the slicing around here, guys. I mean, this is a 24-minute clip. I had to squeeze it into a 10-minute frame. That's eh, difficult. It's not exactly easy. And I'm not exactly good at shooting that guy from that far away, but I do appreciate your patience. Excuse me. I do appreciate your patience when uh, dealing with me and using this assault rifle as a sniper rifle, which really is not really what it's supposed to be used for, but it can be used for it if you use it accurately. And the two round burst certainly does assist with that. This guy fails so hard at shooting me. And since I'm a master nader, as they say, the master of the nades, uh, I get one right off the windowsill. I damage him. I don't polish him off. But I know he's going to be curious and he's going to come down the stairs. So I just sit here and wait. And I'm like, you know what? Come down at your own pace, man. And uh, I just wait for him. And uh, wait for it. Wait for it. And he's going to be there. And he gets it right in the gut. Right in the gut. I was going to say in the face, but that's not an accurate description. That was definitely in the gut. But uh, and then his friend is going to do the same thing. Because I'm throwing grenades up there. And it's kind of a hostile environment that he doesn't want to stay in. So he comes down the stairs and he gets it in the face too. Okay, that wasn't a headshot. That was a lie. It's not in the face. But I'm basically staying on this left side of the map. Which is primarily where... 40 millimeter. Oh, man. I gotta love this attachment. I mean, just because the Abacon sucks so much close range, I need to use it, but it is so dandy. Can't even. And here I'm just playing chicken with this sniper. I'm like, you know what? I got all day, bro. All day. You make the first move, I'm gonna pop you in the face. So, he plays a little game of peekaboo right in front of the stairs, and he gets it right in the chest. Enjoy your Klondike bar. And, uh, oh yeah, the 40mm grenade launcher. Only reason that I use it, one, because it's fun, and two, because the AN-94 Abacon sucks close range. Boom! Oh, right in his center of gravity, right in the hip, or pelvic section. Oh man, right in the pelvis. How does that feel? That must feel... But their whole body just bends like one of those beach chairs, you know what I'm talking about? It just bends. and oh, I can't even tell you how much I love that attachment with a 40 millimeter shotgun. But as I was saying, I'm staying on the left side of the map of Erica Harbor just because it's a good method for killing people that want to come down. The left side in Erica Harbor is more so the main channel. Uh, if you, But realistically, what I always do, if you really want to get the objectives destroyed you gotta sneak down the right side or the side that is closest to the waterway if that makes that description any better for you but you have to sneak out of the line of sight and there's much less people on the on my right side right now and that's the easiest way to sneak around but these guys weren't exactly the best players in the world I'm not gonna lie to you so they were coming down the main channel which is usually down the road or on the left side which is the side that I'm on currently and I'm just cooped up in this building, pawning some nubs. I really don't like using that phrase. That phrase is kind of... And the sniper rifle, there you go. The AN-94 50 caliber 12 times scope bolt action sniper rifle. Jesus. The range that I can squeeze out of this rifle is ridiculous. And I know I've mentioned that six times in the past five minutes, but... I do appreciate those of you that have made it this far in the video and have not exited your internet browser window or clicked another video. So I do appreciate it that you made it this far. And I'm not going to tell you the score yet because I'm not going to be a selfish spoiler alert guy because I really don't like being that guy that spoils everything for everybody. So, uh, and I am going to... See, that last two round burst, I fired it randomly, but I killed that last guy. I get the last kill. It's very satisfying. And then uh, we win, and that tank infamously runs over that radio. Best part of the entire game. And uh, apparently I went 32 and... Wait, yeah, 32 and 4. Let's say it in German, shall we? Yeah, the Russian badger speaking German. 32 und 4. Okay, that's our German lesson for the day. Thanks for watching, kids. I'll catch you soon with another commentary. Thanks for watching. I just said that twice. See ya.